Hi, and thanks for joining. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts with another video for you. I'm making something different than a card today using um, these craft boxes. So you get scalloped um, craft treat boxes and you get eight of them. And it says they're food safe. And I made one for Christmas with a pretty ribbon. And I'll have all of the details on this one on my blog, pspapercrafts.com. And then this one is what we're gonna make today. And it's a birthday. And it's really beautiful. Um, you can just take the belly band off and open your box and have treat in there. I would put some kind of tissue or something like that in there. So the first thing we're going to do, let me get this back, is to create our box. So again, you have um, eight boxes in here. So you'll have eight tops and eight bottoms. So let me just get one of each out. So that's the top and that's the bottom. And they're really super easy to make. So just kind of get everything folded. You can burnish it um, with your bone folder. I like to fold these out and then in just to get a good, a good um, fold on it. And then the same thing with this. And there's score lines here, so you can fold it out and then in and you'll get a good fold there's this and that's just the way i do it you can do it whatever way you want now if you don't need to do anything to seal this down but i do like to put a glue dot on just um to make sure it holds together good so let me see let me get rid of this tail and we'll just put a just one glue dot right on here just press it down and the glue dot will stay. And then I think it just holds it in place better. Okay, but again, you don't need to do that. And then this folds in. So now you have your bottom nice and sturdy. And then you wanna do the same thing with your top. You just wanna fold it and you can burnish it again with your bone folder. But I think this is good enough, good enough for me anyway. And just fold it down and fold this back. I just feel like it's, it stays better when you fold it back and forth. Fold this and down. Okay, and again, I'm gonna put a glue dot on here. Just one. Oops, it's on my finger. Doesn't matter where it goes, anywhere in there. <laughs> um, and then just fold this down. So these are great little treat boxes. This would be great for Christmas. Put some candy in there, maybe for your um, teachers or mail persons, um, mail carriers, I guess is their name. Or um, you could put a gift card in there as a gift as well. And the same thing for birthday, if you wanted to give a little present or a gift card or a little surprise or something. So this is the top and it just goes together like this. Now the paper that I'm using is the Simply, Simply Elegant. Um, I think it's a specialty specialty designer series paper because there was lots of gold in it. So I decided I wanted something with gold in it and there's some beautiful patterns here. And I wanted to make, you know, a fun Christmas but then an elegant um, birthday. So we're gonna, this does not fit all the way around. So we're gonna hide the seam with our label. So I just put this down and kind of got it so that it was pretty close. You want it in the middle here. So let's just move it. And I'm not doing anything fancy or formal here. I'm just wrapping it around and see there's this little gap. So I'm just going to kind of run my fingers along this to get them so I know where the fold is and then I'll just fold them and that will make it. And again, you can use your bone folder. I'm just using my fingers. I do have a bone folder, but I don't think it's necessary for this. So we just wanna have it all nice and wrapped around. And there we go. So then when we do our sentiment, it will cover this. So I have my, um, I use the Stitched So Sweetly dies. these two. This is one of my favorite sets. And I cut one out in gold and see, it'll just cover that right up. 
and one out in the basic white. And I want to do the gold embossing. So I'm using the sentiment from Elegantly Said. This coordinates with the paper. Wishing you a wonderful birthday. I think this would be really nice. Um, well, there's a happy anniversary, but uh, even for a wedding, uh, true love stories last forever. So this is um, a really beautiful set. So let's get our stamping done. So we'll be stamping this in Versamort ink, which is kind of like a sticky ink that lets your um, embossing powder adhere to it. And then we'll heat emboss it, and that will make your powder melt right over the letters, the sentiment. So we'll just press that down. You can't see it. I can see it a little bit. I don't know if you can see it a little bit. And then we'll take our embossing powder, and I like to do this over a piece of paper, just to catch anything. I do have this little container that I keep it in. So this is the gold embossing powder. And I will just pour it over a little bit. It goes a long way. This will last you forever. One little tiny jar of embossing powder really lasts a long time. Now, if you have some ex excess there, you can just take a little paintbrush. Let me get a paintbrush out. Let me put this away so I don't spill it. And if you use a paintbrush, you can just take off the extra. If you don't do this, that extra will actually melt in. So you wanna make sure you get it all off. And the better thing to do is to wipe this down with something called an embossing buddy that Stampin' Up! used to carry. I think you can get it on Amazon or somewhere else. And I did not do that step. I should have. Um, and that just keeps the, um, the powder where it's supposed to go and takes away any static. So now we want to heat this up with our heat tool. Let me get that out. So this is our heat tool. It has two speeds on it, and I'm just going to turn it on, all the way on. So you know when it's done, when it's shiny. So if you look around and you'll see a shine, and that means that it's all embossed and, and heated up and melted in there. Okay, so now we want to attach this here. And I'll use some liquid glue. <clears throat> this is a little bit slick, so you have to make sure with the liquid glue, you give it a minute to dry. And sometimes this gets warped a little bit from the, when you're embossing it. So you just wanna make sure it's nice and flat. And I like to just put a block on it, just to hold it in place. And just leave that there for a couple of seconds. And then we're going to put this on. Now on this one, I use the, um, what is it called? The Simply Elegant Trim, there's gold and silver. And on this one, I think I will use this shimmer ribbon. So I thought just to give it a different look. So I think this is good. And then we want to just put glue on the sides. We don't want to get glue in here because we want to be able to slide it on and off. So let's get some glue or whatever adhesive you want and just put it on the sides. And this is strong, so it will hold nicely. And you want to just tighten this up, make sure it's kind of lined up and then just put this down. And you want to make sure it's nice and even. And you really want to hold this in place just to make sure it doesn't pull off. Is that even? I'm trying to get it even top to bottom. So isn't that pretty? With the gold in here and the craft is pretty, the craft um, paper. And we'll just hold this for another. Actually, let me put this on. And the next thing we'll do is we'll tie our bow while that's sitting there. 
It doesn't take long. I just like to make sure it's nice and sturdy. So this ribbon is back in again. It's really beautiful. It's the um, shimmer ribbon gold and it was on back order for a while. So I was glad it was back in stock. There's a couple of gold ribbons you can use. So we'll just make a pretty bow. And let's cut it off. Um, give it some nice tail. Don't cut your fingers, right? And that'll come down here. I think that's really beautiful. And then I'm also using the Gilded Gems. Just need to figure out where I put them. Here they are. So we'll use some Gilded Gems and put this bow down and we're done. Very simple. And again, you get eight of them. So it's really nice to have, um, you can make a bunch of gifts for people for different occasions, or you can do everybody's Christmas gift in there, put the money in there with some candy or a gift card or jewelry, or you could do some baked goods. As I said, it's food safe. I would wrap it up in there though, just my own personal preference. Let's see if we can tighten that up a little bit. And then we'll just get a glue dot of course, I have glue on my fingers. I always have glue on my fingers. <laughs> it's part of part of crafting, I guess. And we'll just put this down. So there you go. So you have these two for birthday, for an elegant birthday. And then you've got a Christmas one. Um, and then, you know, again, they all will slide off and you can open it very easily. So thanks for joining. Um, if you'd like to purchase this, you can go to my online store and um, I'll have links to all the products I use for all of this and you can purchase whatever you'd like. All right. Thanks again. Bye.